All right, fellas, your landing gear. Maybe you let it sit too long and tried to run it without greasing it. Maybe you lifted the whole truck. Uh, in all cases, removal of the motorized portion is pretty simple. There's a sh there's one screw in this plastic, goes through this plastic collar that holds the assembly onto the shaft. It's really just kept from rotating by these little tabs that wrap around the, the steel frame, okay? I'm in a real <laughs> awkward position here, so you tell me how, tell me how, if there's video issues, uh, we welcome them in the comments. Anyhow, uh, in all cases, on both of these sets of gear, there's a shear pin, fellas, easy as that. You might want to have a file handy anytime you're dealing with a shear pin. There's going to be some distortion. If you want to slide this pin out completely, you may or may not have to, but it's going to require pulling one spring clip that's on the back side. These bushings are uh, notched so they don't rotate, and you'll need to you'll need to install this bushing into place when you reassemble, or you won't be able to get this slide. Up. Put the bushing in, then. Uh, and then slide it in here, that little piece of cotter pin, it's pretty, well, you can see here's one challenge is it, if this is in a position that you can't get to it from the side, you'll have to do something to get that out. Mine, I was lucky it was not in that situation, but it wouldn't slide out until I ran a file on it. And then uh, the spring clip, if you hammer it back that way a little bit, you can distort it and get off a little bit easier and replace it with a clean one because they can be stubborn sometimes, I know. In all cases, at this point, It'll slide out either way. But, um, I don't know how much more I gotta tell you. In all cases, you just have to line that back up. Um, I wanted to clean it out. I wanted to make sure that I didn't have a piece of the pin. Once you had a drill bit, I slipped all the way through it. I was able to fish this piece out. I hammered it through, tapped the, with a hole punch, but it, again, a, a, a nail, room and a cotter pin, or, uh, or a drift, obviously the best thing is a drift, but a drill bit turned backwards works pretty good. And I was able to hammer it through the other side, then I pulled it back, and so I was able to slide it all the way through to see that the bottom was already clear. So it had fallen out into the abyss. There is gaps down in there. I didn't want to drop another one, but I was able to fish the top third out through on my skinny drill bit. On the other side, I don't think I'm even gonna remove it. And on this side, yes, it was fully removed. And I don't, I don't know if I have to, yeah, but see, so now, what I meant was, you need to put that one in before you put this. If you're wondering if it's bent, I checked. Reassemble it. And if you want to check for lash, because you could always put a, see, I thought, I wondered if this was a distortion, but I think that's factory because it gives it, it makes it stronger so it can't stretch, but you shouldn't have too much play if you slide this back and forth. But if you did have some distortion, you get you some little bronze spacers and shims at the hardware store, and you could space that against this other bushing. I think that's about it, fellas. But that, I bet that'll get you um, raising and lowering your machine.